Hi, my name's JMO from a company called Xcase. You can find us on the web at www.xcase.co.uk. So today I wanted to look at one of the bare bone server systems that we do. We call them Easy Store. And this is the 2U16 Bay version. For Dual Xeon E5 2600 version 4. Model number for reference is SY201 D16 REH. So these are a little bit different from your standard server systems. They use a modular design, which I'll come to shortly. But for now, let me just go over the front of the system. You've got your standard power switch here. Next to that, you've got an ID switch. That just lights up the rear of the system, which could be useful if it's in a data center and you need to find it. And then you've got hard drive activity LAN. That's if you have an internal drive uh, connected to the SATA ports. You've got four LAN lights, as the motherboard has quad LAN and a warning light and just a standard power light. Caddies themselves as seen here with a three and a half inch SATA drive but they'll also take SAS drives as well as two and a half inch drives without the need for any other brackets. So on the front we've got these 12 uh, caddies and on the right hand side here this handle we've got a couple of USB 2's and included in the pack are screws obviously for both two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives as well as these stickers for both SAS and SATA and these stickers fit nicely in an allocated place on the caddy. System comes with two passive coolers. And if I can just turn it round, bear with me. As I said, it's a 16 bay, so you've got 12 at the front, four at the rear, one's missing for some reason. You've got redundant power supply, which is the same in all the Easy Store systems. It's a 760 watt. So if uh, one of these fails, then the system will run quite happily on the other redundant unit until this is replaced. Now you're going to see a gaping hole at the rear here. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because the whole motherboard sits on this tray system. And as I said, it's modular, which basically means there's no cable connections. The motherboard connects directly to the power and the back plane through these connections. And we call them easy store simply because you simply have to add your processor or processors, your memory, and the system board has 16 DIMM slots, by the way. And once done, you simply slide this whole tray into this space here. So from receiving the server to Fitting it out with your processor and memory, no word of a lie, five minutes. And then all you've got to do is just add your drives. Now, as far as controlling the drives, um, they come as standard with this Pike card. Now this controls all 16 drives through a LSI Vargo 
2008, which is a 6GB SAS card, and that's a HBA card, which can be um, used in either IR or IT mode. A quick look on the web and the basics about the LSI 2008 is that it will support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 1E, RAID 10 and pass through as in no RAID at all, HBA mode. Now, so for those of you who are looking to set up a software RAID or uh, with Linux or some other ZFS type based software, then that's absolutely ideal. However, if you don't and you want true hardware RAID, then you can simply remove this card, add a hardware RAID card into this expansion slot. The riser card is already fitted, a weight in it. You then replace the pike card with this adapter here, which takes two 8087 connections. And it comes with cables included, which are two short 8087 to 8087 cables to connect to your RAID card. So your RAID card would obviously need to have 8087 uh, connections, so something like a 6GB LSI or a DAPTEC card is absolutely fine. There's also a secondary expansion slot for a half height card, and that might be used for some more LAN parts or a uh, uh, 10 GB LAN, etc. There's your quad LAN, two USBs, and that's the remote port for the IPMI. So I'm a bit one handed because I've got the camera in the other one, but I'll give you an idea of how it all goes together. So that just slots in there, pushes in, close the levers, and it's as simple as that. So as said, there's various other versions of this. There's a 1U4, a 2U8, a 2U16 as seen here a 3U16, a 4U24, and a 4U36. Now, let's just say, yep, yeah, okay, the 16 drives are great, but you'd also like a internal drive for your operating system, where you can fit a 2.5-inch drive internally here. And the kit to connect it comes as standard. One thing to mention, the motherboard does have an M.2 slot, as well as a USB slot. So there we go. The 2U16 Bay version of the Easy Store bare bones systems. I'll try and do more videos on the rest of the range and the JBOD equivalents fairly shortly. Thanks for listening.